we can use the same basic structure of calculating expected utility to calculate certainty equivalents. We can use this math to work through and think about how valuable gambles are to us. We call this the certainty equivalent. What certain level of income gives me the same utility as the utility from some gamble? The easiest way to think about this is to actually go through and solve these out. Once you see the certainty equivalent math, it starts to make more sense what this actually means. But the basic idea is that you're looking for some certain level of income that gives you a, the same amount of utility that you would get from some gamble. Right. So let's look at the process for doing a certainty equivalent. So first up, what you're going to have to do is find the expected utility. So you're going to find the expected utility from some gamble. And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to take that expected utility and you're going to plug it back into your utility function and solve for the amount of wealth or the income that you would have when the probability is one when we have that outcome with certainty. So really what we're doing is we're kind of reversing the equation here. We now know at step two what the utility should be. We're trying to have it be equivalent to the utility that we get from the gamble. We know the probability from this situation is a probability of one. There's not multiple options that we can have because we're trying to say what amount of wealth when we have certainty gives us this uh, this amount of utility. Right? And so what we're doing is we're moving back into the equation and trying to figure out what the payoff from this gamble, what this payoff from this gamble of having a probability of one would have to be to give us the same utility that we got from a gamble. So here's a big list of potential certainty equivalent calculations that we can do, and we'll run through some of them. So this list of payoff comes from Brian Kaplan's notes on information economics. And what is it's asked to do is to come up with the certainty equivalents for three different gambles with three different utility functions. So we're gonna look at the first gamble, this gamble one, and we're gonna look at it with a certain utility function and we will fill in the chart that corresponds to that. But then we will also look at say, uh, you know, gamble uh, three here, and with a you know different utility function and we would fill in the chart here and so what we'll do is we'll run through a couple of these examples uh, with gambles one two and three at different utility functions uh, but then you can fill in the rest and i'll give you the answers within this video to see if you understand how to calculate the certainty equivalents so let's move to this next example of figuring out certainty equivalents so imagine gamble one the expected utility that we have to find that's kind of our first step here is we have to look at gamble one where we have this 50 percent payoff of a hundred dollars and a 50 percent payoff of zero we have to take those payoffs multiply them into the utility function and we're going to do the utility function of the square root of x or x to the one half power and then what you do once you plug them into the utility function is you multiply them by the corresponding probabilities add them together and you get the expected utility. And so here we have an expected utility of five. But when we're doing the certainty equivalent, we don't stop there. What we do is we say, okay, well, what certain level of X gives us an expected utility of five? So now we know the expected utility of the gamble is five. So we're gonna say, what level of income with certainty would give us this same expected utility? So now we know the utility is five and we know our probability is one because we're trying to say this amount of X with certainty and we know the utility function. So what we can do is we can say, all right, well, the expected utility is five. The probability is one. We don't know what amount of income, but we do know the utility function is to the one half power. And so simply draw this up and now we have one variable left. And so we need to solve for X. When you do the math, we get an X of 25. So the certainty equivalent for a gamble of 50% of 100 or 50% of zero, when your utility function is X to the one half power is 25 as the payoff. And so that becomes our certainty equivalent for 
example one here, or for gamble one here. So let's look at uh, another gamble here. Let's look at uh, gamble. Uh, let's look at gamble one, but let's look at it with a different utility function. So let's look at gamble one, but now let's look at it with the expected utility of just x. So look at gamble one. But now with this new utility function, no longer is it x to the one half power, it's just simply x. So what do we get? We have to plug in our 100 multiplied into the utility function, which it's just x. So we just have that 100 there. We have that 0 into its utility function, so we just have 0 there. Multiply it by its probability. Multiply this by its probability. And we end up with an expected utility of 50. Then what we can do now that we have the expected utility when we're trying to do the certainty equivalent is we can do our second step of finding the certainty equivalent. We take this expected utility from the gamble and plug it back into our equation with an unknown x, but a probability of 1 and a known utility function of just x. And what we end up with is 50 equals x. 50 equals x times 1 to no power here, no changes, it's just x. And so what we end up with is x equals 50. And so the certainty equivalent for gamble one with the expected utility function being just x is 50. And now let's do one last one here. Well, let's do gamble one and let's look at it with the x squared utility function. So again, you simply find the expected utility in this case, it'll be 5,000. And then to get the certainty equivalent, you take that expected utility and plug it back into the equation. So you say, hey, the utility has to be 5,000. We don't know what x is. We do know what the utility function is. It's whatever x is squared. And then we also know what the probability is. The probability is 1. So you can take all of this uh, second part here if you want and times it by 1. Uh, but that's just going to leave you with this x squared. And then you can simply do the math from here, and your x will be 70.71. And so that becomes your certainty equivalent for gamble 1 when your utility function is x squared. Right? And so that means that this certain level of money, 70.71, uh, would be equivalent to the gamble. Right? They would view it the same as taking the gamble. It provides the same amount of utility uh, when we have 70.71 with certainty as this particular gamble. So it's the certainty equivalent for that payoff. All right, here's the rest of the chart filled in. So if you want to go through and kind of test yourself on gambles two and three to find the certainty equivalents, you can do so. Certainty equivalents are very useful for thinking about the behavior of individuals, in particular, their behavior when confronted with risk. Remember, certainty equivalents are what certain level of income gives me the same level of utility as the utility from a particular gamble. 